Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Gonna play Balata, the Outward Nine, Long oh, Tees, Tornado oh, oh. Cups. Uh, am I gonna use the big clubs? Um, we've played Balata a few times. It's one of the DLC courses. Uh, it basically is a bit of a target golf course. There's a lot of drivable par fours and stuff, although I think I've mucked that one up. Uh, <laughs> Oh, just got it on. Just oh, go on. If that goes in, oh, that could have been. That's a ridiculous shot. Yeah, I think I can make the eagle, Genzo. Uh, if that had dropped, there you go. I was about to say lots of droppable par fours. Uh, a case in point. So that's a reasonably good start. We haven't actually played um, this tier cup combination, which is one of the reasons I want to play it. Okay, two is actually straight. You just got that tree to worry about. Um, I'm gonna say worry about. I'm not really sure if you have to worry about it. I think it would go over the top, but I just put a bit of shape on it. It's gonna come up. No, I ended up short. Mm. Hi ho. I suppose it is uphill. Okay, so chip time. Uh, good tip from someone in in my um, comments was um, you can save scum up your um, your club. So I've got 10 already on the sand wedge, on the approach wood, sorry. Approach wedge. Pitching wedge is nice. So I might try this with the sand wedge. So a little chip and run. Just to try and improve the back door on it. You may as well have it all up at yeah. 10 if you can. Oh, I'd have missed that. Knew it. Be a birdie. Not happy with that. Should have hit that. Because, yeah, it's perverse, really. The only way you can improve the back door is by holding um, shots with it. And, of course, back door helped hold the shots, so it's kind of difficult. So what you should do, really, and this was the tip, was, um, was use the easy shots to power up your, your other clubs. So, again, not quite drivable, this one, but it's a longish par five, but we can really get a good shot on it and get a fair way up and give ourselves a good second shot. Okay, pin's tucked in a little bit, but should have, you should have a nice clean shot into it. Sort of front corner of the green. So, pretty much 100 yards to go. Uh, approach wedge again. I might go pitching wedge. Okay, a little bit uphill, a little bit into the wind. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad, but not quite, not quite close enough. However, we got ourselves an eagle pup. Shot happy. Nice that gets us to five under after three, which is a pretty good start. Although we could add the hole in on one. Hole four. It's a par three. So par three. A little bit downwind, a little bit downhill. Eight iron. We've got the ultra backspin on it. So if we're anywhere close, we should stop it. Good. Oh, now that's got a chance. Back you come. Ah, not quite, not quite. But again, super close. Oh, I'll have that birdie, thank you very much. Nice birdie. Nice and easy. It's a six over there. A couple of par fours to come. Hole five. It's a par four. Five again is pretty much drivable, but the wind's not going to help me much here. I'm going to put a bit of shape on it. Got the ultra side spin. So we should come round the corner. What I really want to do is okay. uh, land and have it. It's come on, but it's the line's not not bad really from 400 yard away. Nine foot. I'm not really giving myself many chip chances here because I'm hitting the greens. Eagle finish. And my putter's already backdoored up. So eight under after five. Par four again. Hole six. It's a par four. Ah, now this will be a bit more interesting. So we're against the wind this time. So, 
Got the spin. Got the ultra impact. Nice shot. Try and bring it round. It's really where it's going to land. Oh, it just kind of died, didn't it? Well, chip chance. So, let's go with our sandwich because that's the one I want to power up, really. One of the approach distance. And that should drop. Oh. Give me a bit more back door. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's a level nine. That's how you do it. It's a ten under. Par three to come. Hole seven. Yeah. It's a par three. This one's not too bad. It's a seven iron shot into it. Bit of wind, sloping green as well. A tiny bit downhill. Got the ultra back spin. Nice shot. So all about where it wants to land. Oh, it lands somewhere quite nice. It'll come back a bit, but probably not, not quite enough. Sort of skipped around the hole, really. But again, super easy birdie putt. That gets us to 11. And then we've got a 4-5 finish. Hole 8. It's a par 4. Uh, again, it's drivable, but um, we're sort of against the wind a little bit. And the real issue is you don't want to go out the back if you can avoid it. So getting the pace right is important. <coughs> Got a bit of backspin on it, but not, not enough. So it'll all be where it lands, really. Oh, now the rough kind of dulled it. So I'll be on the fringe. Yeah, oh, I'll get a chip. Excellent. So, sandwich again. And again, tornado cups, it's a bit, bit easy, really. Ooh. There you go, another chip in eagle. Ooh. Nice eagle. Oh, I didn't really get much homage there, but I'll take it. That's how you do it. I think you need a long easy. shot, really. So, we're doing alright. 13 under, par 5 to finish. Last one. Hold on. oh, this is a, I call it a question mark hole. You've kind of got to play down here into the wind a bit. And it's all about second shot. Great shot. Let's see if we can get it close enough. Oh, am I going to run out? Just held. Just held. It's 100 yards to go. Bit of wind. Again, I might go for the sandwich. Ah, uh, it's not got enough legs on it, even with a power shot. So we'll go... Yeah, we'll get pitching wedge, because I can do with power that up. So we're uphill. It's going to kick a little bit. The wind's going to move a little bit. And it's a little bit uphill. Didn't get the backspin I wanted. We should be somewhere close. Yeah, yeah we're just a bit short. So 12 foot Get the eagle. for an eagle. Oh, that's pretty straightforward part, isn't it? Place down. And there we go. Eagle 15 under. Perfect. Again, there's just not enough length there to challenge you, really, and with the big clubs. So 15 under. So we set ourselves a really good score. But there's more to come there. I mean, we could have got a couple of extra shots. There's at least three, so you could do 18 under, I reckon. We've got a score on the board. Not a bad drive. Yeah, got all the fairways and all the greens, which I think is pretty straightforward on this one, really. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, again, if anyone's got any great tips like that uh, chip tip, please um, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time for a little bit more Everybody's Golf.